watch them made on gold. Battle rum, battles, babe, battle roll in any time. Good morning. How are we all? Um, welcome back to another vlog. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, watching this video, showing support for all my other videos. I feel like never goes unnoticed so thank you so much for clicking on this one excuse the state of me okay excuse the state i think i've caught another cold i don't even know how it's physically possible at this point i feel like any cold that has gone around at the moment your girl has got it don't know how i guess just london is a very dirty place um as you can tell my skin as well i just, oh, just i've been going through it guys cats i'm in the best headspace at the moment i feel like i've been feeling a little bit low and a little bit meh and I think it's a concoction of feeling ill, my skin being bad, feeling ill, if I just said that I can't remember and I think yeah it's just we're not thriving right now but I want to thrive okay I'm coming at the end of it now where it's like right I want to do a 360 no 180 because don't want to do a 360 let me go back to the start don't want to do that a 180 and feel so much better because right now, this is just no way of doing anything right now. And I feel like having a headspace like the one I'm in right now is just very um, unmotivating. It's very uninspiring. It's very, um, all those words. And it's really just not really getting me anywhere, to be honest. And I think constantly waking up in moods like I am right now, it's just leading to very mundane days and... I'd like to think that you guys know by now that like, that's just not how I want to fulfill my days. I love doing so much with my days, etc, etc. But recently, I just really felt like doing nothing because I've just felt like a pile of shit. But yeah, that's me just being really open and honest, to be honest. I find the start of the year all was very difficult and like to get my head around. And like, I don't know, I think when you start getting older, I think you just start to think like, oh God, like what am I doing? what does this mean yada 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 it's all so intimidating and all a bit too much and sometimes life does not work like that and this is your reminder to know that it's okay we're still so young you know anyway i don't really know why i went on that tangent this morning i feel like it's been on my mind i also watched the new netflix series last night called one day have you guys seen it oh my god i forgot how tragic that movie was because I think the last time I watched it, I must have been like a young child <laughs> or a young teenager. I remember watching it and being absolutely horrified by the ending. And I kept on saying, I was like, I know something bad happens, but I don't know what it is. And Jesus, Jones got to the last episode. I was bawling my eyes out last night. So I don't really feel like that's helped my mood either because that's just put a bit of a grey cloud in my head this morning. But it's just a TV show. It's just a TV show. It's just a TV show. Um... But yeah, anyway, today's pancake day. How exciting. Although I'm really not in the mood to make pancakes this morning. Are you a sweet or a savoury person in the morning? I personally am more of a savoury person. I love my eggs. And you know, my crumpets and whatnot, but... Maybe we should have pancakes this morning. I feel like it's like the only day you can, really. Or where it's like most acceptable. We looked up actually last night why it's called pancake day. And apparently it's because back in the olden days, and I'm talking like Jesus times, Shrove Tuesday came about because it was when they had to get rid of things like milk and egg and like the only things you could maybe make with milk and egg were pancakes. And that's why it's called Pancake Day. Because it's like before Lent starts, right? Have you guys ever given up anything for Lent? I never used to be one of those girls who would like give up sugar or something. Just couldn't do it. Because like at school it used to be such a big thing, like what's ever giving up for Lent? Who's giving up something for Lent? Are you? Are you? And it used to be this whole ordeal. And like at lunchtime, it'd be like, no, sorry, I can't have that. God, it's actually quite bad. Anyway, there's my little morning introduction. Hope you guys are well. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. And let's get started with the day. And hopefully it's a good day. Because Jesus God, do we need it. Oh, my skin. It's fine. It's okay. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. <laughs> Standing in front of a camera. Hoping for a better day. Peace.
Xavier. Okay, who fancies making some pancakes? This is my Shrove Tuesday fit. Pancake making fit, pancake making attire. But we don't have Nutella, and that's really bothering me that we don't have Nutella. I'm gonna bring my laptop to look up a recipe, and let's get cooking. How many people do you reckon do they have searched up a pancake recipe onto Google? I reckon quite a lot. I think we're gonna go for the BBC Good Food one because my mum always uses BBC Good Food and if my mum can use it then it's probably what I should use too. Yeah, this is the kind of pancakes I don't want. I don't want like the thick ones, you know. I want more of a crepe than anything. Right, so just flour, eggs, milk, oil. So that's looking nice. Now I guess it's just time to make. I forget how easy pancakes actually are to make. Um, yes, let's get cooking. <laughs> Lemon sugar pancake, yum. Gonna devour these for my breakfast, can't wait. Just about to put on some Love Island All Stars and enjoy my pancakes. Um, currently, I think this is the heart rate challenge one. This is from last night, um, but I didn't watch it because I was watching One Day on Netflix, so I've gotta catch up. Had an exciting delivery. I've got a new rail to build because I have so many clothes and I've got nowhere to put them, so. Mike is gonna very kindly help me build this. Oh gosh. It's so weird to think that that eventually turns into something so big. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, guys. So, guys, is... welcome back. Go on, tell them. Yep. Oh, it's a bit smaller. Alright. Well, this is what I've done. I actually ended up building one side the wrong way around, so I'm not that helpful. But nearly there, nearly there. Okay guys, here is the finished rail. She was actually fairly easy to build, and she's got a little space at the bottom I can put like shoes on, and it comes on wheels, and I've got some hangers as well. I Actually, I feel a bit embarrassed to show you what's in this cupboard, but it's fine, it's gonna be organized very soon. There we go. Oh my god, look at all of this stuff that was underneath the stairs. It's like suitcase. I need to do a clear out. I probably shouldn't have done it in the hall. These are all the clothes that were just, quite honestly, hanging on the floor in this room behind me. Um, but now they're on the rail and it looks so much better and so much more organised. Um, so yeah, got all my jumpers, jackets at the back. And yeah, it's perfect. It makes such a difference and I can actually see things now. Like all of these jumpers here were honestly folded on top of a little box in my room and I couldn't find anything. I actually thought I'd lost, where is it? I actually can't find it. Yeah, this jumper here from Stone Island. I thought I'd lost it and I found it yesterday only. So I've lost it for like a whole year and I've only found it today. Um, so yeah, there we go. Rail all finished. 
hi de hi hi I'm just back from the shops, back from Sainsbury's. I did a little food shop for dinner because I before I used to be such a good like weekly shopper, but now I feel like I've gotten into a bit of a habit of shopping daily, which I shouldn't because it's obviously so much more expensive doing it like that. Um, and probably a bit more wasteful. However, can't change it now, the damage has been done. But I thought I'd show you what I'm gonna have for dinner because I'm really excited about it personally and you should be too. Shall we go? Shall we? Okay. Okay, so I'm thinking this evening for dinner I'm gonna make like crispy sushi rice and put like, it's basically like sushi but with like crispy fried rice on the bottom. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Why do like, my lips look so small when I'm talking like that? How bizarre. First things first, sushi rice. I've never made sushi rice before and I feel like it might be quite complex for my little pea-sized food brain. Some radishes, because I think I might pickle some radishes. Got some cucumber, because I'm gonna make that like soy vinegary cucumber salad that I honestly eat at least once a week. Got some salmon fillets. I got some prawns and I got some crayfish, I love crayfish. And then I got some chivey chive chives, springies, chilies. I got this, original sriracha chili sauce, but it looks like a bit different from the other sriracha that I'm used to seeing. But I feel like everyone uses sriracha when they're making things like this, so I thought it was an essential that we buy some. Rice wine vinegar to obviously put into my sushi rice. Oh my god, guys, I've never tried Kewpie Mayo. Is that how you say it? Kewpie? Kewpie? So I'm so excited to try this. And then I got some light soy sauce. And yeah, I also bought Micah Valentine's Day card. Do you want to see it? Got it from Sainsbury's. I blooming love you. Which is true. I am actually going to make the sushi rice now because I think I'm going to leave it in the fridge for like a few hours before I actually fry it so like it keeps it nice and compact um i'm just reading over so wash 250 grams of rice in cold water stirring in a circular motion drain and repeat until the water is clear then soak in cold water to 15 to 30 minutes before draining right this seems quite complex i'm not very good i'm a bit, I'm a bit of an impatient cooker i can't lie a bit of an impatient baker a bit of an impatient cooker i'm one of those girls where or person where like as soon as instructions arrive they will not be getting read like I think I'm better than that to read the instructions by myself and make up my own way of how to do something do you know what I mean I just not very good at listening um it's the same with like building that um clothing rail today like for straight away it's, he's so pragmatic with these things everything was set out like ne neatly and like in its order instructions laid out ready to follow Honestly, if that was me, I would have ripped that whole box open and just like, oh, that looks like the first bit to do. I'll just start doing that. Not good. So today I'm actually going to follow the instructions because I actually want to have nice food for dinner, you know? Anyway. Ciao. I'm going to make my sushi rice now. Never made it before, but we'll see how it goes. Right. Of course it said 250 and I've done 257. It's all right though. Don't worry. The next step is, I think, just to put some water through it until it goes clear. This is obviously the key point, so we actually have to stick to this, okay? Oh, Mike's just come home from the gym and he's bought me some flowers and asked me to be his valentine. How cute. I've just put these into a nice little vase. Oh, how cute. I love flowers. Okay, I have made my sushi rice and I've wrapped it in some cling foam just to keep, give it its shape. I'm now going to put it in the fridge just to set a bit and then at dinner time when I'm ready to eat I'm going to cut it up into squares and then fry them. How exciting. Right, it's not displayed very well, in fact at all, it looks very messy but guys I'm so excited. I've tasted like the individual mixtures on their own and oh my god, so good. It's a bit later on now. I've had a shower, as you can tell. 
hair is still a little bit wet. Um, but I felt like the best way to dry my hair with the Revlon is when your hair is like almost dry. I was still drying it when it was still relatively wet. They say like towel dried hair, but I think even drier than towel dried hair is at the perfect conditions <laughs> to do this with your hair, me personally. I don't know why that's just like the texture of my hair, the thickness of my hair, it just works best. Um, but I'm just gonna do my hair now since we've still got a bit of time and I quite like having my hair done and out of the way and then I can just do my makeup. It's not all like one big chaotic rush at the end. I don't think I even said what we're doing today. Have I even told you guys it's Valentine's Day today? I'm not sure. I hope you guys are having or have had a lovely Valentine's Day, whether that's you spending it with a loved one, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whether that's just you with your girls um, or like with your family or anything or having a nice self-care day for yourself which is equally as important. Um, I hope you had a nice day. Um, it is Valentine's Day for us today, obviously. And Mike and I this evening are actually going to paint some pottery, which sounds so like corny and cliche or whatever. But I'm so excited for like the wholesomeness that I'm about to feel from committing to this activity. We've been thinking all week of like what we want to paint. I'm personally thinking like a trinket tray that I can like keep my jewelry in. Cause currently I just have my jewelry just in a bag. I'm like, I want to see it when I have it displayed. Like, how about my bedside table or something like that? And if I can't do that, I might do a vase because I use vases so much. Like, every single week I use a vase. There's so many, like, flowers in our house. And I just, like, you can never have too many vases, you know? It's just one of those things, like, oh, just grab a vase for me, will you? And currently, all of them are used at all times in the week. So it'd be quite nice to have another one to add. So that's what we're thinking, but I'm really excited. We're going to this one that's like a boozy pottery painting. So I think we're going to bring like a bottle of wine, paint some pottery and have the best time ever. I'm so excited. I feel like it's come at such a good time, the day that like Valentine's Day has fallen this year, because like I sort of mentioned maybe at the start of this video, is like I've been feeling a little bit low and deflated. I don't even know what the word is. I can't even really pinpoint even where like the problems like come from or like where these things in my head have like sprouted from because there's not really been one thing. Sometimes I just get like this and it happens and I think in turn it comes out on like my physical. So like you know how I've been like so run down with a cold. I think mean, that's because of the same reason. Like my skin's breaking out, same reason. I'm not sleeping very well, same reason. Do you know what I mean? It's just things like that and like yeah it's a tricky time being in your 20s I think sometimes and I think it is sometimes overlooked when you feel I don't know when like you go down that perfect route like you've got a job, you're earning money, you're living with your boyfriend, like life is good. And then sometimes when shit isn't like that, you're like, oh my god, I'm so different to everyone else, what the fuck's going on? Like what am I doing with my life? But realistically, that's just life really, isn't it? Like you can't like no one always follows that perfect path. And I just feel like I've just sort of veered off a little bit. And I think with that I've just taken a bit of a lashing to my mental, to be honest. So like I said, I feel like today has come around at a perfect time to sort of distract me, get me out of the house, get me doing something a bit different because like you guys know, I love to fill my days with going places or like going to an exhibition or doing a bit of shopping or et cetera, et cetera. It's not healthy just to be sat here all the time and applying to new jobs and et cetera, et cetera. It's tough. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. And honestly, if anyone else is going through the same thing, or even if you do have a job, or like you you feel like everything's going well, then you have one bad day and you don't really know how to deal with it, we're all the same. And I feel like more of that needs to be shown on social media because it's so glamorized, it's not even funny. Like I'll post things and I almost feel guilty doing it because I just feel like that's not really how I feel right now. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's just so mad how you just catch like a little glimpse into these things when realistically if you take a little bit search deeper, it's not as happy as it might seem. So yeah, anyway, that's a very long-winded explanation of what we're doing today. But yes, I'm gonna dry my hair before my hair dries anymore. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd put you guys in a bit of time lapse. Was that, was that the door? That's cute, it's very busy. Oh, is it from Ed? It must be. Daisy yeah. Oh, you should lay that on her out in the kitchen. Yeah, or as soon as she comes out. Aww, Daisy's boyfriend's just dropped off some flowers. I love love, it's so nice. Anyway, right, <laughs> let's dry my hair.
house to cover my face, but always at the end, I like to go in with a roller. Roll oh, the front pieces up because this is the part I kind of like to have the most volume. So yeah, there we go. That's my hair. Yummy! Look, I've just made this for lunch. I've used that leftover seafood that I had from my sushi last night, and then I've made some egg fried rice with spring onions and some cucumber and like soy and sesame oil. So, can't wait to eat this. Okay, I feel like we've been sat in this seat all day so far. We haven't, promise. Have to, and we literally need to leave in like an hour. So, I'm just gonna get ready. I'm not doing anything like crazy with my makeup. Not that I really do any day anyway, <laughs> but um, it's a very chill day, it's a very chill date. Um, so I just wanna be comfortable in what I'm wearing and what I'm looking like. Not trying anything new, just kind of doing, going with what makes me feel good essentially. So I've already washed, moisturized, etc., etc. prior to this. So we can just go straight in with some makeup. Um, first of all, we're gonna put in some contacts because your girl can't see and I would like to see my valentines and my pottery skill making so these are essential. Still so undecided on what I want to do for this pottery painting. We're going to one called Social Pottery Painting in Kentish Town which is quite the track away from us. It is on the same tube line however which is good but it is like an hour away just to get to so we are tracking to get there so hopefully it is worth it. Um, just gonna let that dry in a little bit. That was just the road, the road glazing, look, glazing, the road glazing milk. I love this stuff so much. I think it's so good to put on underneath makeup. I actually wear this on top of my skincare, like before bed as well. I feel like it's a nice little um, way to end off your skincare, just because it's so soothing and calming, and like because I've got quite a lot of redness on my face as well. I feel like it does really help to like smooth out the appearance of that I think so anyway I don't want to wear very like heavy makeup but like I really want to cover up these spots a little bit I'm just going to go in with this YSL skin tint in number six um I really like this stuff but obviously it's not like very full coverage but hey ho we don't need to conceal these spots we need to embrace them kind of but yeah Mike's just at the gym right now how crazy is this? The gym that is near us has a wait list to get onto, a two month wait list, which is crazy. Mike, when we first moved down, he applied for the gym in September and only got in just before Christmas, which is mad, absolutely mad. Um, so I've still not joined a gym down here just because that to me is just so off-putting. Um, and I've actually really said this year that I wanted to get into running. I was watching a Madison Sarah video was it last night I was watching it? Yeah. And she was saying, she was like, I just want to understand this whole hype about running. Like, why is everyone running? And I so get it. Why is everyone running right now? I feel like everyone runs. Everyone. Like, oh, where are you up to today? Oh, just go down a run. Okay. Where does this come from? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I said to myself this year that I wanted to um, start running like consistent 5Ks, which I feel like is doable. Um, I haven't really run that much probably since uni. <laughs> um, and obviously like when you go to the gym and stuff, yeah, you can go on the treadmill and stuff, but like actually like running consistently, I've not really done a lot of since uni to be honest. And even saying that, I'd say consistently, not even since like school. But I would really like to get back into it again. I just feel like I've got none of the kit. Like I hardly even have trainers down here. So I feel like I need to, would have to get like the gear, you know, to hype myself up to be excited about doing it. Cause I feel like that's like half the thing why people love doing it so much. The people are so into like, they're running trainers and they're running socks and they're running vests and their gym outfits and et cetera, et cetera. I've just never been one of those girls to be honest with you. Like see when I go to the gym, I'm shoving on a t-shirt and a pair of leggings and whatever trainers I can find and just call it that. But I feel like this is the whole thing about like becoming a part of the gym, like it's that whole experience of enjoying that. And I want to be one of those girls. Not that I, you shouldn't want to be anyone, but I would really like to, I don't know. I'd love this year, I said to myself this year that I really wanted to put more of an emphasis into my physical health. Um, 
and like doing things like going on runs but it seems like honestly since the start of the year i have been ill <laughs> i feel i honestly feel like for two months i have had this stupid cold um that is really just not set me up very well for the new year to be honest and the fact that our whole thing with the gym like it being a two month waiting list like are you mad are you mad that is crazy um so i think with that as well it's just actually just kind of deterred me the other way it's just made me not want to do anything but i really want to the thought is there the passion is there i just need to actually do it but yeah if you guys have any recommendations of like running trainers i feel like there's so many on the market nowadays i was going to get myself a pair of hawkers but i've heard from like two people now that they're actually not very good for exercising in like they don't actually give that much support it's crazy to be honest, that skin tint has actually provided a lot more coverage than what i was usually used to maybe it's because i don't know like it, my skin still looks like skin but it's just got that nice like flush of color and concealed the right places you know so i'm very happy with that i think the last time i went pottery painting was with my sister in like our hometown there we used to be like a little pottery painting building pottery painting class you could go to and me and my sister would go there so often like whenever my friends would come and stay with me after school on like the weekend you best believe i was taking the pottery painting like, my mom and dad must used to have gotten so sick of us bringing home this like shitty piece of i don't even know a new plate to add to the collection um but it's so fun it's so therapeutic i think it'd be really nice to actually do it also by yourself and like pop your headphones in and like really enjoy it but i think also likewise going with like your boyfriend or like your best friend or like your mom or something like that would be really cute as well i'm really excited my vision right now i need to kind of look on pinterest to like build a better concept of what i want to do but hear me out how cool would this be like i'm thinking a trinket tray okay like maybe like a circular one maybe like a misshaped one a square one i'm not really that picky on the shape of it okay but painting it red and white like gingham print how cute would that look in my room i think that would look so nice like on my desk or like up on the fireplace something like that i feel it would look really really cute um and i definitely need it like have I, did i say that before like all my jewelry is like shoved away in a little bag down there and it's like at home i have like my, all my jewelry like out on display on my like chest of drawers and i kind of want to replicate the same thing down here but i just don't have anything but i have just come out with a mascara crazy if it's oh my god there's a makeup brush here if it's anything like the brow sculpt that they have and how good it is for your brows i can imagine their mascara will be absolutely insane because i just feel like jess hunt just gets it right like she just gets it she's not this like big like corporate brand to just do it to make money like she genuinely gets it i feel like her marketing for her brand is incredible do you remember that one that she did in paris she managed to like take over like a magazine stall in like the streets of paris and like refine it all and it was just the coolest thing i remember seeing that and i was like that is genius is anyone else on that side of tiktok where um they go through like the marketing campaigns of the week and ones that they found really cool because i think they're really really cool and it keeps me up to date you know like by the time we're talking right now um hayley bieber's just come out with that or she's not come out with it yet she there's like a waiting list for it but it's in the nose uh the phone case but there's like a placement for your only your road lip gloss to fit in the back of it like that is genius it's so genius and it just looks so good and effortless she's really good really really good i like that a lot what else have i seen that's been pretty cool now i can't think those are the two that have really stuck up to me i just think refi is just a really great example like i know i think it's the end of feb maybe like next week they're doing a pop-up in covent garden as like a pre-release of their mascara i'm quite tempted to go you know but i don't know if you need tickets or not um and i know they do quite a lot of pop-ups for their products and they like refi the whole place like down to like the coffees the little bags that you take away things like that i just think it's excellent and i think it's really really cool i actually can't really talk while i do my eyeliner so bear with 
I was thinking about this the other day. I just said that I can't talk and now I'm speaking again. I was thinking about this the other day, how much I um, rely on eyeliner in my makeup. Like, I wear it every time I put makeup on my face. If I don't have my eyeliner on, I feel naked. It's just a part of the way that, like, my makeup all comes together. And I do think it really transforms the way that my makeup looks. Are you an eyeliner girly? Or do you think it makes you look weird? Because I feel like you're either one or the other. I feel like it's quite tricky to be both. I mean, you could be both. I feel like we could all be both. But you know, do you either like it or you hate it? Some, like, I know like some people only wear it on like special occasions or like when they can be bothered like focusing <laughs> on doing eyeliner because I know it's a bit of a daunting experience to be honest. Um, but for me, it's an everyday experience. I also do this little inner corner bit of my eyes and I feel like it makes the biggest difference in like the sides of my eyes. It looks way better when there's mascara on. Oh my god, I have a new mascara to show you guys. How exciting. Let me um just finish off this eyeliner and then we can resume, okay? Don't miss me too much, BRB. Okay, I don't actually know how new or old this mascara is, but I got it as a little mini for my Christmas this year and it is the Rare Beauty Mascara. I'm pretty sure they only have one, so I feel like this can only be the one that I'm talking about from Rare Beauty. I don't think they have more than one mascara out. But this is so good. It's actually a bit different to the ones that I would usually use. It's a lot thicker and chunkier, whereas I'm way more used to using a mascara wand that's quite thin. But this is so good at creating volume and length, which I feel like it's quite tricky for any mascara to do. It's either like one or the other or none. But this one it can do both. And it's like the first mascara that I've been like properly taken aback by. Do you know what I mean by that? Like, obviously I do a few coats, but like, hello? Like my eyelashes are not that long. And this just makes them look like I've got the best eyelashes in the world. I think it's so good. And it's kind of made me realise that I shouldn't be so reluctant to try new mascaras because I had that mascara, the Sky High one from Maybelline, which I still love, but it's like my only one that I ever use. And then I couldn't find it for a while. When I say a while, it was like two days. And then I just put this one on to try it out and I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? And I've been using it ever since. I need to stop being so, oh no, I've got my favourites and that's what I know. Is anyone else like that? Do you, I need to stop saying anyone else, I like just talk. Um, do you stick to what you know all the time? And this can be in all cases, like what you wear, your makeup, how you do your hair, like the meals that you cook, literally anything. Are you like a stick to what you know and that'll do and you'll be happy with that? Or do you quite like to try new things all the time and kind of broaden your horizons in what you know? and kind of build your own opinion from that. I think I'm option A, uh, but I don't know. Maybe I should be option B because this was like the best decision I've made I think all year, trying a new mascara. Just kidding. They just look so good. I never wear bottom lash mascara. I used to, but not anymore because I don't like the way it looks on my face. I was watching another YouTube video the other day and someone was saying how like, my makeup has changed so much from when I was younger. Like, the stuff I used to do to my face, if I did that on my face now, I would look so bad. Like, horrific. Like, putting on bottom lash mascara, wearing, like, liquid eyeliner, like, not wearing cream products, wearing powdered products, products, etc, etc. Like, wearing, like, a ready lip liner. I never would have done that, like, when I was younger, but now it's, like, the absolute go-to. Do you know what I mean? It's so weird how things like that change. Whether it's because of trend or like your face is actually changing, I don't know. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna do my lips now. This is Charlotte Tilbury in Hollywood Honey. Yep, so good. And my Benny Tint. I've used so much of this already, guys, and I literally bought it last month. I wear it every day, more or less.
I love it and it's red for Valentine's Day. Oh, she's fancy. And then I go in with my Refi Gloss and Clear and layer that on top. I just did my makeup in 22 minutes. I don't know why I convinced myself I need two hours. I don't. I think also, probably by this point when you're watching this video, you'll have reached a point in the video where you're like, oh wow, like, she seems like a completely different person from the start of this video, which I think is quite true. My mood right now feels entirely different to what I felt like yesterday, even when I picked up the camera. And whether I include it or not, I kind of hope I do because I'm quite happy to have that footage just to know that like even simple things like picking up a camera and actually like speaking out loud and like I don't know talking about how you feel. I just called my mum as well and I feel like anytime I call my mum I always feel like instantly better or I don't know calling my sister or things like that. I just always feel better after having done it and kind of speaking out loud how you feel and then kind of getting the reassurance from them that it's okay to feel that way I think is so important. So likewise if you're also watching this feeling a little bit how I'm feeling right now Hopefully well, this is a bit of a conversation and you know you can listen to some of the things I'm saying thinking like god I think the exact same way and like look she feels a lot better now having just spoken. This is your sign to go and do it. Talk to your best friend, talk to your mom, talk to your dad, sister, brother, cat, dog, anything um, and it might make you feel a little smidgen better. Um, but yeah anyway I need to go figure out what I want to wear. How does one dress for pottery? Anyway, there we go, there's my little Valentine's Day. Oh my god, I always want to answer questions. I, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I asked you on my Instagram to be like, ask me some questions, and you did, and I haven't even answered them, I'm so rude. Well, a lot of them are maybe like more fashion-y related though, and I haven't answered any fashion-y related content at all, so apologies. We'll maybe do it another time, but I've, I think I've spoken a bit too much now. I've gone from not speaking at, speaking at all to um, being Mrs. Blabbermouth. Anyway, peace and love, my friends, and we'll speak in a little bit when I know what to wear. Okay, I think we're gonna go for this. I love this little shirt or this little dress so much. I feel like you can style it so many ways. Like I've only styled it so far with like trousers, and obviously tonight we've got tights on, some loafers. And I'm gonna wear that black jacket behind me. Um, but yeah, it's feeling nice and Valentine's Day. It's feeling nice and date nighty, but also super comfortable, you know? So if we do go for some food afterwards, you know, to sit down, indulge, pottery paint. It's cute. And then I've just gone for this little red Louis Vuitton bag, which is actually my mum's. And it's literally so perfect. I love it. Um, but yeah, let's go do some pottery painting, I guess. Go, how cute are these earrings, by the way? Mike got me them for my Christmas, and it's the first time I'm wearing them. They're little cherries. Where did you get the cherry earrings from? Oh, a lovely lady called Susan on Etsy. A lovely lady called Susan on Etsy. That's where he got them from, but they're really cute. Mm -hmm. 